Shu lets out a really cute smile after hearing my response. No, Shu lets out the most cutest smile he's ever freaking made. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ketsubaka here, and welcome back to my channel. Right, so welcome back to Shu's route. This is like part 17, I think, and when we left off, we went on an aquarium day with Shu, and then we met our creepy stalker of a cousin who was stalking us for some reason. Um, because I was worried about us, quote-unquote worried about us. Anyways, before I go to VA school, I drop by the agency first. So, about yesterday, what's up, Tochan? What do you want? Oh, are you curious about it? Well, truth be told, I am, but you don't have to tell me about it if you don't want to. Yeah, stop asking me questions, Tochan. I'm not doing your boot. I don't care about you, Tochan. Jesus. Nah, I'm not particularly hiding it. I let Tochan know about all about my past and yesterday's happening, I see. So that kind of thing has happened to you, huh? I would have never guessed you've experienced such a thing from your cheerful exterior. Nah, it's not really a big deal, is it? I think it's kind of a big deal, though. Whatever, What happened after that? What did you do after you were kicked out from the house? Well, I kind of did some immoral jobs to survive, I guess. Teehee. This is not the time for Teehee to, to tell me about it. He's really curious, it sounds. Well, I'm gonna start the story then. It's not the most interesting story though, so please bear with me. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, when I was kicked out of my house, I survived by leeching off my high school friend's house. I couldn't find any jobs, and I didn't have any deposit money to rent a place after all. At some point though, most of my friends had kinda cut contact with me, and I was forced to live at the park. That's horrible. Nah, it wasn't that terrible. The other homeless people were pretty chill and we were kinda like a team. Anyways, after, soon after that I got picked up by an older man and lived together for him about a year. Kinda treated me like a pet. What? That's a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, even Tochan's a little confused by that. It sounds kinda kinky about that, but it's not being a pet in that way. It's a pure master and pet relate. This is weird. Just continue on. Yeah, it doesn't sound the <laughs> same with me, Tochan. It doesn't sound very pure to me. Once he got bored, I went back, prowling on the streets again, while until another person picked me up. It was a woman this time. I told her that I couldn't ha uh, oh my god. <laughs> Can we just continue? Hello, Shu. I actually care about you. Seto? Why are you here at this time? What time is it? It looks like it's morning time. Yeah, it's morning time. I'm feeling kind of tired. Can I take a rest here? Nods, as in yes. I lay on Shu's big bed and hog the whole place. Uh, your bed is so wide. I can even roll around the place. Did something happen? Well, I guess something did happen yesterday, but it's not that important. I'm gonna take a nap now. Wait. Shu suddenly comes to the bed and lays beside me. What's with this all of a sudden? I'm gonna take a nap too. Now he just wants to sleep in the same bed as us, you know? How couples do. <laughs> I see then. Let's take a nap together. Yes. We then snuggled on the bed and slept until morning time. Night time. Morning time? Night time? Which, which one did it say? I don't remember what it said. Right, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, you know what? I'm gonna bring up my technique, because I want my technique to be in the 30s. Something tells me that it's gonna be, uh, need 430 when it comes to the... You know what? That brought me right into the 30s. That's kind of funny. It's a Sunday, which means... It's a daytime. Great. So I'll see you guys after the day, because as I said before, they get repetitive, and I don't want to just not have commentary, because I just look at it and read it, and just like... Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, let's continue. Wait, I had an audition? I don't even remember. Do I have all the criteria? Yeah, okay. A two-faced guy who seems like the perfect gentleman on the outside is inside, though, not so much. Oh, so he's actually a little dickhead. Alright, cool. We'll deal with that. Sounds a little bit like Hikaru. Yep. <laughs> let's let us continue. What are we gonna do? Kirishima-san, can I talk to you? All right, here's a character that I'm gonna portray this time. He looks like a. You know what? I just read that. Oh, yes, certainly. What do you want to talk about? Oh god, this is gonna be dreadful. Neutral? I mean, that kind of works, I guess. Apparently, I see that you still want to keep up the pretense. Oh, what do you mean? I'm afraid I don't understand what you're talking about. There we go. Neutral. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an important meeting to attend to after this. Okay, neutral. Uh, are you so desperate to run away from me that you'd lie? I hope you'll refrain from unnecessary accusation, Oshimoto-san. Neutral, okay. I checked with the manager and he said you didn't have to meet any clients today. Ch snooping around like mice. Angry? Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh, you've finally shown your true colors. So you're gonna black me, mail me out of it, huh? 
angry? Yeah. So what do you want, money? In that case, don't beat around the bush and just state the... N yeah. You know. Nah, why do you think I want to extort money from you? Well, I guess you are too rich for that. So what is it already? Don't waste my time. He's angry again. Let's go on a date. An amusement park date. Huh? Are you insane? Who the hell would shock? He's shocked about that. Then I'll spread about this to the co-workers. Are you fine with that? G fine. I only have to go to this effing amusement park, right? He's angry about that. Oh my god, did I get five stars this time? I don't think I got five stars, but I think I got four. That's all that's important. You know, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. If I got it to the final thing, I'd get five stars. But yay, I got the job. Look at me. I'm a professional at auditions all the time, guys. All the goddamn time. Hey, do you guys remember this scene? Comment if you do. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I stress is six. I'm gonna sleep for a day. A singular day. Not gonna accidentally click on 30 days like I've done before. Alright, time for the recording, and we're recording. And how much money are we getting from this job, are we? 400,000 yen. You know what? That's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be rich by the end of this shit, man. Um. I don't know. Let's work to get our singing up. Something tells me that the next one will probably ask me to have like 215 or 220. For my singing and i'm just gonna be like oh shoot can't get this job voice acting technique bring up that technique boy so i'm planning on recording a torchiru and a look at that torchi there look at his adorable little eyes um <laughs> yeah i'm planning on recording a torchiru video as well today um hopefully that's what i get i get to it i, I probably will eventually and then I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts 3, because I just got that, and I really like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Um, bring out my singing again, because as I said, the next one's probably gonna be something like 220, and I'm not gonna have 220. Oh, uh, Shu's birthday! Shit! Um, Shu's birthday. I do not know what Shu likes, guys. I'm having a little bit of an issue. <laughs> Ah, today's Shu's birthday, isn't it? Should I celebrate it with him? Nah, never mind. No, nah, let's celebrate his amazing birthday. Yeah! Hey, uh, Shu, guess what I'm coming here for? He d He's confused. He doesn't know. He looks like he doesn't have the slightest clue, because he doesn't. I'm here to celebrate your birthday with you, of course. Birthday? Yep. Whose birthday? It's yours, of course. Isn't it obvious? Hmm. My birthday. What is it? What date is it again? It is the 9th of October. That's what it is. Wait, are you telling me you forgot about your own birthday? Yes. How can you forget about your own birthday? Fair enough, I kind of do too. <laughs> it has been a long time since I last celebrated it, and no one else really remembers it as well. Not even your uncle that threatened to kill me if I don't... if I hurt you? Like, come on, man. Poor Shu, having no one who remembers your birthday is really sad. Yes, yeah, Shu, talk to your uncle. I'll beat your uncle up because he said he'll beat me up if I hurt ya. But I actually remember your birthday. He doesn't. I'm surprised you remember. Of course I remember. You're my dear boyfriend after all. I don't know how I remember because I don't remember being told what Shu's birthday is. Except maybe by the Fudanchi later, like earlier in the game. But I don't, I don't remember. He <laughs> he, boyfriend. She looks so happy with just that. What a cutie. Anyways, what do you want for your birthday present? Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing. No, it can't be. There must be something that you want. I refuse to believe otherwise. As the birthday guy, you have the privilege to ask me to do anything you want. Don't waste this once in a year chance. Anything? Yep, it could be anything. Don't hold back. Just let me know what you want. She takes his time to think long and hard. After a while, he seems to have finally decided. Then I want you to stay by my side forever. Jeez, Christ, Shu, you're such a heartthrob. <laughs> what? That was kind of unexpected. Uh, I was gonna do that even without your birthday wish, you know. Really? Of course. Aw, have we seen this face before? Look at this face. Look at that adorable face. We haven't seen this face before, have we? Look how adorable it is. You better admire the adorableness of that face. Oh my gosh. Shu lets out a really cute smile after hearing my response. No, Shu lets out the most cutest smile he's ever freaking made. Look at this, and this dude is apparently supposedly a uh, top dominant dude when it comes to, fu to the Fudanchi. Y you're kidding me! You're kidding me! Look at the adorableness! A anyways, what do you want from a side bat? Hmm, Shu goes into another thinking mode. Ah! Oh, it seems like he has decided. I want you to... Yep, yep, what is it? Cosplay as a cat. 
You want me to dress up as a cat? Huh? I want you to cosplay as a. <laughs> Shoot! I want you to cosplay as a cat and lay on top of my lap. <laughs> Shoot, what the fuck? Eh? Are you really serious? Nods. Shu gives out a firm nod, given the confirmation that he is indeed serious about this. Plus the purring, please. <laughs> Shu, never mind, guys. I take back what I said just recently. <laughs> eh? His request just gets even weirder. He looks at me with an expectant look. Fine, I'll do it. I'll wear the damn costume. Yay! Well, as long as he's happy, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god, they have won the damn costume. Happy now? Cute. <laughs> Look at this. How do I hide this again? I Look at me. <laughs> I'm dressed up like a cat. I have this costume for shoe, actually, believe it or not. Well, his happy reaction makes wearing this embarrassing outfit worth it. Come here, kitty. <laughs> shoe, you're taking this like quite too serious, man. Shoe pats on his lap. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> Come sit on my lap. Is he asking me to sit on top of his lap? Yes, he really is. Do I really have to do that? I'm the birthday guy, am I not? Ugh. Well, I was the one who said I could do whatever he wants for the birthday, so fine, I'll do it. D is it going to show it? No? How long do I have to wear this costume? Until the day ends? Ugh. But that's still hours away. I'm the birthday guy. Ugh. He keeps abusing his authority as the birthday guy. You better run the favor of my birthday. Nods. I keep wearing the cat, cat costume until the day ends. Uh, finally, after the clock ticks and the day changes, I'm finally back to my usual clothes. The cat costume wasn't that bad, but I definitely prefer my usual clothes. Thanks for today. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad to hear that. I'll return the favor and wear a cat costume too for your birthday. Well, it doesn't have to be a cat costume again, you know. Then dog costume. Hmm. Shoe in a doggy costume. That doesn't sound too bad after all. Oh. Alright, I'll be looking forward to it. I'll do my best. You know... I feel as if there's things that are messing up in this game, because it never shows the scenes. Am I doing something wrong? Is there certain things I need to do to find scenes? There has to be a scene of that. Like, like I'm going to explain this to you. And here's what I mean, alright? So this is like the easiest one to deal with, because all the other ones are a little bit more in-depth and all that stuff. You see how I have all these scenarios? Well, there's one right here, and it's locked, and I don't know how to get it. It's the same thing with Hikaru. It's the same thing with him, but I'm not going to click on it, because I don't want to spoil anything, because I am going to do Hikaru's route later on when I um, forget about it. Well, when I not when I forget about it, but like when I... Um, can put some fresh commentary into it and that's what I mean I'm doing something wrong and I makes me sad like do I have to I don't know eh. let's continue oh right time to go home already I've got to wake up early tomorrow do I really do I really have to wake up early tomorrow do I really or is this just a lie all right uh, my phone just went off in the game not my real phone of course I have no one to talk to me <laughs> all right so let's see it's a new job of course it's a new job let me see if my qualifications meet it they probably do so you know what i'm gonna take it uh, and they do look at me go and it's in three days so we can go and talk to shu who is at the bookstore right now and i totally forgot about that for some reason what is my mic being absolutely dreadful um not my mic but my my headphones my bad all right shadow there you are did you miss me yes of course he did why wouldn't he have missed me it's shu here let us continue on Alright, so here we are in an audition, and I totally forgot what this audition is for, but we're gonna read up on it right here, you know? Ah, Kichan, over here. Alright, here's the character that I'm gonna portray this time. He's a reserved guy who has no interest in love. He doesn't realize that he's, be he's begun to fall for his childhood friend, alright? I told her to stop calling me Kichan. That just sounds blank, so neutral? Yeah, I knew it. But Kichan is Kichan, isn't it? It'd feel weird if I were to call you with some other name. <sighs> Just do as you want. What is... I don't know. Neutral again? I don't know. This is difficult. Ah, by the way, how do I look? You look just like the... Jesus! He's strong, man! What? Just like the usual? Even though I went through a lot of trouble to put on this yukata? It looks good on you. This guy just seems to be neutral, and I feel like if I just say... No way! I've already said it once. Um, what is he, like... Shocked? I don't, I don't know. Neutral? No, damn it. Jeez, stingy. 
Uh, you forced me to. Yeah, there we go. She made my mom force me to, to be exact. Neutral, look at that. But it turned out well, didn't it? Hell no, it didn't. But you really look good in that. This reminds me of when we were kids. We used to go to the festivals together all the time. Do you remember? I still remember you crying. <laughs> oh, damn, because you didn't catch the fee fish. Do you want to hold hands now? Eh? Okay. Coolio, the audition has ended. We now announced the results. And of course, I, could pl I succeeded with, like, three stars because I don't care, all right? I like how it says that I didn't really stand out, yet I get the job. You know what? It's fine. Everyone else must have been extremely, extremely bad. Okay. Um, so, wow, my technique's all the way up to 444, so I'm going to work to get my characterization up to at least 440, hopefully. Come on, give me at least three. Yay! I think that brings me to 440. I don't remember anymore. We'll find out eventually if it does. All right, time to go to the recording. Um, yeah, it brought me to 440. Coolio. And how much money do I get from this recording? I don't remember. All I know is that I'm going to get fat stacks and I'm totally set for all of the uh, future endeavors of my fucking hell. All right. Um, sing during the shower, I guess, is what we're going to do. We're going to bring our singing up. Mm, we can increase by three. Look at me go. Mm, I'm going to be good enough to be in a band soon. Another rent payment day. Yeah, I definitely have enough. There's no rent subsidy, so it's just going to be $50. And you know what? That still has me at 400,000 yen. Thanks for the payment. I'll excuse myself from your room then. Good. Get the fuck out of my face, man. All right. What should I do now? Um, Go talk to Shu. Hang on, I'm taking a sip of coffee. Damn, that's a bad coffee. I made a bad one this morning. Mm, you know what, I just randomly make coffee any different way, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Mm, let's spend some time with Shu. What are we gonna do, buddy? I'll see you guys when an event takes place, if an event takes place soon. Hey, welcome back after quite a bit of time as in the day in the game you know i don't remember when <laughs> you know what am i going on about anyways we're going to the amusement park today and yeah it's morning already morning fudanchi how how do you get in my room hey it's about time you get used to me coming here all of a sudden how about you learn how to knock first before entering are you sure you want to use that tone with me because i'm here to bring you a present a present yep well, depending on what it is, I might or might not forgive you. So what's the present? Let me see, let me see. Ta-da! He takes out two tickets from his pants pocket and shows them off to me. Hmm, what's so special about them? They're tickets to Pon Pon Land. P -p -p pon Pon Land? Pon Pon Land is the land of dreams. It's simpler. Language Pon Pon Land is a theme park with Pon Pon as its main theme. Which means Pon Pon mascots, Pon Pon merchandise, Pon Pon related attractions. Yeah, I want to go. Please forgive me my, f please forgive my rude turn. <laughs> I tried to make, I tried to wrap the lip. Yeah, you know what? I I'm going to give up. Anyways, and give me those tickets. No worries. I've been planning on giving to you from the very beginning. The uh, are two tickets, so you should go with your lover. Alright then, I'll go right away. Well then, I'll be taking my leave first. Good luck. Woohoo, I can't wait to go. Alright, let's make the call already. Alright, I'll invite Shu. Of course, because Shu is our lover. Hello, Shu. Hiya, Shu. I'm calling to bring you very good news. What is it? I've got two free tickets to Pon Pon Land for my friend. Let's go there together. Ah, you don't sound too excited about it. I've been there already. Huh? How? It was just open seven days, several days ago. Uh, but you're the creator of Magical Pon Pon, so I guess it's only natural that you've been there. Yes. Well, I guess I should just invite someone else. No. Go with me, please. Huh? What's with the sudden enthusiasm? Whenever you say that you're gonna go with someone else, if he doesn't go with you, that'll get you to go right with ya. It's an amusement park day. Which romance manga is he influenced by now? Oh well, what matters most is he's coming with me. Alright, I'll meet you at the front of the station. Yes, I'll prepare myself. Wow, he's very excited about it. Click. We end the call after confirming the meeting place and time. Well, I should prepare myself, too. Hmm, where is Shu? He's in a suit. Ah, there he is. Hey, Shu. Oh, there you are. Look at him. He's in a suit. Why you gotta look so fancy? You're flexing on me. I just have a pon pon shirt on, dude. I've never bought any clothes. I don't know why. Look how much money I have. I can afford them, too. Oh, yeah, that's a new audition that I got coming soon. I can afford them, too. I just never buy them. <laughs> Wait. Why is he dressed so formally? Why are you dressed like that? I wore my best outfit. Are you really going to the amusement park in that? Is it no good? Well, it's not that, but don't you feel uncomfortable in that? 
Well, it's a bit hard to move in this. If that's the case, why did you wear it to begin with then? I want to impress you. Wh what? Why is this guy spouting cheesy lines like it's nothing? Anyways, I'm already impressed with you even without this, so let's change your clothes first before going, okay? Yes. <laughs> she ends up going back to his room and changing into a more comfortable outfit. There we go, I don't feel as guilty now. Whew. We're finally ready to go. Yes, alright, let's get going. Pon Pon Land, the land of dreams is waiting for us. Let's buy the tickets at the count. We don't need to buy the tickets, we have the tickets. Why is he staring at the place so intensely? This is my first time coming- Oh, we're buying the tickets for the train, okay. Huh? First time? Yes. It's really hard to believe, but then again, this guy is even more of a recluse- <clears throat> You know what? I, I don't care about that word. You know, let's just move on. Hehe, <laughs> good for you then. Just as we talk to each other, the train can be seen arriving to the station. Ah, we've gotta go fast. And then he says yes, because I don't like saying asterisk nods asterisk. So this is what a train looks like. Yeah, it's what a train looks like. He he looks so excited being inside a train for the first time. He's just too cute for this world. You're in the daytime of the amusement park. What's going on? Welcome to Pon Pon Land, the magical land of dreams. Hello, Pon Pon. Thanks for that. Woohoo! It's really Pon Pon. Amazing. Pon Pon, shake my hand, please. Sure thing. Pon Pon gives my hand a friendly squeeze. Whoa. Pon Pon touched my hand. Pon Pon touched my hand. Do you want to shake his hand too, Shu? He's staring at Pon Pon intensely. No thanks. Why not? It feels kind of weird. Well, I guess it feels kind of weird seeing your original character in, in the flesh, let alone interacting with it. Hmm. Anyways, where should we go then? His face just screams, whatever. Hmm. It'd be great if we had some kind of map or something like that. Here's a map for our theme park. Hearing my wish, the kind Pon Pon mascot hands a pamphlet to the theme park, which has a map on it. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I needed that. Whoa, Pon Pon can truly fulfill any of your wishes. Amazing. No, it's just his job. Take care. I hope you enjoy the journey. Thanks, Pon Pon. All right, let's take a look at the map and decide where to go next. Whoa. Wow, there's a lot of interesting interactions. Where do you want to go, Shu? Farish will. What a prompt reply for him. Ooh, you're being enthusiastic for once. What's the reason for this sudden change? I read it in a lot of shoujo manga. Eh, it's romantic. Well, I guess it is. Let's go there. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, but let's make it our last ride, okay? We can see the night view from above. Night view. It'll be even more romantic, because that's all Shu cares about. I guess that means he agrees to it. Well, that settles one of them. What's next? Aha, we definitely have to ride the roller coaster. You're okay with that, right, Shu? Is it scary? Nah, it's just a roller coaster for kids. Let's go there, okay? Yes. After thinking hard about it, Shu finally nods to show his agreement. Okay, then let's go to the roller coaster. Hmm, what else? Oh, and the secret castle sounds interesting. I wonder what the secret part means. It kind of makes me curious. Oh, hmm. On the pamphlet, it says that this place has an escape room style gameplay. I've got a bad feeling about that place. Hmm, bad feeling. Like what? Well, too late. I've already decided to go there. You can stay outside if you want. I won't let you go in alone. Ooh, how sweet of him. But, alright, we're going there together. That's decided. We're going to do that first because he seems like he's going to be scared about it. And I like seeing Shu scared because it makes him absolutely adorable. And he's nodding. First of all, let's go to the secret castle. Yeah, let's go to the secret castle. I can't wait to unravel the secret that's waiting for us inside. Why are you looking so grim, Shu? I've got a bad feeling. Maybe we should just step... Oh well, what's the worst thing that can happen? Let's go! Not given any other option, she obediently walks from behind. This place is dark. Maybe it's to keep the suspense? Hmm. He's being even more silent than usual. Are you possibly scared? No. Yeah, he is. What a long pause. That's not very convincing, Shu. Oh, there's something on the floor. It's an eyeball. <laughs> there it is. Explanation point. It's a fake, of course. Oops, I said it too late. He's all frozen like ice now due to the shock. Hello, Earth the Shoe. Oh, are you still alive? Barely. Whoa, it's that severe of a case? Anyways, this eye is just a replica. A badly made replica to be exact, so there's no need to be afraid. I mean, this replica is even made of rubber. They should at least put effort into making a better one. I I'm not afraid at all. You're not very convincing when you stuttered like that, Shu. Well, whatever, let's just get going. Already? Well, you want to get out of this place as soon as possible, too, right? Nods enthusiastically. All right, that means onwards we go. All right, we should keep this eye. His face is screaming, why, all over. Well, this place is an escape room, right? I'm pretty sure we'll need to use clues to get out of here. 
and this eye is definitely one of the clues. Shaky nods. He then hesitantly gives a nod. Alright, let's move along. Oh! I'm dear my daughter, I'm sorry, from mom. There's a paper with some kind of writing on it. Blah, 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 blah. No way it's written with blood. This is just a game, remember? It's probably just written with red, with red ink or something like that. Blah, 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 blah. Jeez, he's not listening. In contrast to the stone-cold appearance, this guy is actually afraid of many things, eh? That gap is kind of cute. Anyways, let's keep this one, too. We'll get cursed. What kind of superstitious things are you spouting now? Curses don't exist. Ignoring his protest, I grab the note and keep it in my pocket. Alright, let's move onwards. Uh, Shu refuses to move. What is it now? I can sense an ominous presence. Hmm? Hee 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 hee. Suddenly, an evil laughter that is usually present in horror movies can be heard all over the place. What a cliche scheme to scare people. Who was that? His face shows that he's scared shitless. It's me! Oh, hello! <laughs> go, 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 go! No way, it's just a person wearing a costume. Return that! Return what? Return my eyes! The phony ghost jumps towards us. Whoa! That kind of gave me a scare. Sh <laughs> crap, Shu's too scared to even move. Come on, Shu, let's run away! I forcibly take his hand and drag him to run away from the place. He finally snaps out of it and follows me from behind. Phew! It's finally the exit. After that meeting with the ghost, we found several more clues and we were chased by several more ghosts. We needed to solve puzzles and stuff while being chased by ghosts. So it was a very thrilling and tiring experience. She looks lifeless. Well, he saw enough jump scares to justify that. My bad feeling was right. But it was a good experience, wasn't it? No, not at all. Well, now you'll be able to escape at some... <laughs> now you'll be able to escape if some day a ghost tries to chase after you. I hope that day never comes. I guess he's not good with ghost stuff. Oh, well, let's go to the next ride. And we're going to the roller coaster is where we're going, right? We're going to the roller coaster. Oh, I did just skip the roller coaster part because it just showed she was getting sick. Not sick, but like spooked because of a roller coaster, saying you're never gonna go on a roller coaster again. There is no scenario type of thing. Alright, let's eat! What do you wanna eat? Something sweet. He's such a sweet lover. Well, I'm in the mood for sweet things as well, so I'm not complaining. Ha! <laughs> I'm sated. Ah, today has been a lot of fun, don't you think? Fun? Ah, right. He didn't like both roller coaster and secret castle, but we still have the Ferris wheel to look forward to, right? Ah, Ferris wheel. I'm looking forward to it. He <laughs> he looks so much more energized now. Oh look, there's a gift shop over there. Oh, there must be some kind of exclusive pon pon goodies there that you can't find anywhere else. Let's go and check it out, Shu. You're very enthusiastic. Of course I am. It's magical pon pon exclusive items we're talking about here. Alright, off we go. Once again I grab Shu's hand forcefully and drag him to the place. <sighs> Too lazy to argue, Shu obediently walks. Oh, he obediently follows me, not walks. <laughs> when his face screams, well, whatever. Wow, there's a lot of things here. Whoa, it's a giant magical pon pon plushie. Eek, the price tag is inhumane. 50,000 yen for a plushie, that's too much. Huh. There goes my dream of having giant pon pon plushie in my room. Oh, well, let's take a look at the other good goodies. I hope they're cheaper in price. Oh, there's a magical pon pon t-shirt like the one I'm wearing right now. Will she be happy if I buy it for him? We can wear matching clothes, though he might attract too much that might attract too much attention ah there's also cute mouse headband I think these will look good on shoe too anyways what should I do we're gonna buy him the magical pom pom shoe what size do you usually wear he wears extra large doesn't he I don't know I know fine let's buy you the extra large size just like always I turn back to the shopkeeper and proceed to make my order I'm buying the extra large t-shirt ah that'll be 2500 yen almost a thousand thanks for the perk for purchase Shu, wear this. Just one glance, you will notice that it's a magical pon pon t shirt. You're wearing it. Yep, which is why, if you wear this, we can wear matching clothes. Matching clothes? Oh, he seems excited about this idea. Alright, go ahead to the changing room. We'll be waiting here. What is it? You're not going to accompany me? Huh? No, why should I? You can change clothes yourself, right? Tch. What was that t about? I'll change now. He then proceeds to go to the nearby toilet to change his clothes. Matching clothes. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, it suits you, Shu. Really? Ooh, he seems happy with the compliment. Yep, I think I'm falling in love all over again. Why is he shy, isn't he? How cute. Hey, what should I buy next? We're buying him the mouse headband as well. Thank you for the purchase. You're welcome. Did you buy something? Yeah, I bought this. It's a mouse headband. Why is 
their mouse headband when there isn't any mouse character or magical pom pom. How should I know? Ask the one who built the amusement park. Well, anyways, it looks really cute, doesn't it? Hmm. He takes a closer look at it. No. You think moles are cute, but this isn't? You have a weird taste, shoe. Well, whatever. I bought this for you, so you have to wear it for me. Why? I want to see you in that. Is that good enough reason? Yes. He immediately puts the headband on his face. Aww! <laughs> Am I cute now? Stop asking that kind of question with an expressionless face. But to answer your random question, you are really cute with that headband. <laughs> He's happy about that. You look like a real mouse now. Is that a compliment? It's a compliment, of course. Alright, what should I buy next? There's nothing else to buy, so nothing is the answer. Huh, <sighs> I really want that magical Pon Pon plushie, but it's impossible to buy. Sorry, Pon Pon, I'm not rich enough to purchase you. Yes, Pon Pon, I'm not rich enough to purchase you. At all. Totally not. Shoot, let's go to the Ferris wheel now. Wait, why? To toilet. Oh, you want to go to the toilet? Nods nervously. Hmm, alright then. I'll be waiting outside the store then. Yes, why did he stutter when he said toilet though? Oh well. He's actually going to buy the Pon Pon thing, isn't he? Oh, there you are. Whoa, here. It's the giant magical Pon Pon plushie. How can you get this? I bought it. But this is very expensive. It is not. But it is. If it can bring a smile to your face, it is a cheap price to pay for. Whoa, what a corny line. Even I feel embarrassed just hearing him say that. How can he say such that with such a straight face? Please smile for me. Okay, please stop it with the shoujo-like signs. I'm sure my face is as red as a tomato. Geez, he keeps throwing me off my pace with this sudden attack. Are you blushing? No, I'm not, but you are. I said I wasn't. Let's drop it at that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for the plushie. You're welcome. Anyways, let's get going to the last ride of the day, the Ferris wheel. This is what I've been waiting for. Um, we're going back to the secret castle. No, I'm just kidding. We'll go to the Ferris wheel. Wow, time passes by so fast, huh? It's dark already. Ferris wheel. Man, he looks damn excited about this. Of course he is. It's Shu we're talking about. It is said to be the most romantic dating spot for a couple. Oh, do you want to do this or that with me up there? <laughs> oh, he's being shy now, isn't he? What a cutie. Oh, it's finally our turn. Come on, let's get inside. Nods enthusiastically. Whoa, the rest of the amusement park is so tiny when seen from up here. That's the roller coaster, the rest area, and the secret castle. Hey, why are you being all silent, Shu? When in the Ferris wheel, we should silently stare at each other. This is dramatic. It's going to be awkward if you just stare at someone. That's what usually happens in shoujo manga. Well, guess what? We're not in a shoujo, shoujo manga. Hmm, you want us to stare at each other now, then? Yes. Okay, then let's the staring games begin. Stare, 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 stare. Um, until when are we going to do this? All of a sudden, choo. Shoo swiftly gave me a fast peck on my mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got you. That was so sudden I didn't get to taste his mouth. I demand you do it once more. I'd be glad to do it however many times. Aw, okay, that's adorable. That's adorable. Today was a lot of fun. The attractions were not bad, but I had a good time, thanks to you being there with me. I had a lot of fun, too. Let's come here again next time. Yes? Today was a lot of fun, and I can feel that our relationship has gotten stronger than ever. Damn right it has. Damn fucking right it has. Alright, guys, I think this is the longest episode I've ever had, but I don't know. You know, I'm not smart, but it, I think it has been. And this is gonna be the end of the episode here. We got another new job coming up. Is it after this delinquent one? Because this delinquent one pays really well. Is it after it? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit afterwards. And we can get all that stuff up there. I think we already have it. No, we don't. We can't get all that stuff up there. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. There's going to be a Torochi video coming out today sometime soon. Uh, I'm going to record it. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Kitsubaka out.